So here you are after making the right decision and choosing medicine over surgery. But now you have to take your MRCB part one. Now, don't worry, you're in the right place. I'm Dr. Yad, an internal medicine resident in the UK, and lucky for you, I've passed both my MRCP part one and part two this year, and I will tell you everything about preparing for it the right way. So let's get into it. The MRCP is made up of two written exams and a practical one called PACES, and you need to pass all three to become a member of the Royal College of Physicians. It's a requirement for internal medicine uh, trainees in the UK and elsewhere, and is a quite reputable and um, a pretty difficult exam. But with the right preparation and mindset, it's definitely doable. The MRCP part one topics consist of different clinical medical specialties, plus some basic science topics such as genetics, pharmacology, anatomy, statistics, and etc. Um, you can see a list of the topics on the screen. The exam itself is made up of 200 best of five MCQs and is available worldwide four times a year. It's a long proctored online exam made uh, split into two papers, each with 100 questions over three hours with an hour break in between. So in total, it will be seven long hours. So let's get into how you should prepare to make sure you'll only have to go through this once. So preparation time. This all depends on you. If you're working full time and have limited time or not very good, good discipline, then I would recommend four to six months. If you're not working much or you're very disciplined and can set aside two to three hours a day, then three months should be enough time to prepare. I personally prepared in just over three months. How many hours a day? Well, I was working full time as an internal medicine resident when preparing. If you are in the same boat, um, then this is what I did. I would set aside two to three hours a day for three months and then maybe five to six hours a day a few weeks before the exam. Now what I found uh, more important was to let this exam take over your life for a few months. On the train for 20 minutes you could do 10 questions, queuing for your coffee you could do three questions, before you doze off to sleep do 10 questions, basically any chance you get. Take out your phone, do a few questions. Now number two, what resources to use? I personally used past medicine, um, which have a question bank of around five to um, 6,000 questions. Um, I aimed uh, for 100 questions a day, um, and unless I was having an exceptionally crappy day or was on night on call or something drastic, I would push myself to get through 100 questions a day. Um, they have a good question bank and their online textbook is good. I would recommend using Pass Medicine for question bank and for their online textbook. You can make, take your own notes on questions and topics, which makes revising them for a second time easier. Um, pass test, um, I only use their past papers. Um, I would recommend only using um, it for past papers um, a few weeks before your exam. I personally think the style of questions and explanations um, and the online textbook of past medicine is better than past test. Now, this is my opinion. Um, the main decisive factor for me um, was that past medicine um, split the information in their textbook into smaller, more manageable bits of information. Um, compared to the more extensive chunk of text that past test includes in their explanations and online textbook. Um, a third resource I would recommend as an additional studying tool is MRCP updates. Um, they have a really good past papers and what I personally used it for was for its online textbook. Um, they have a well put together high yield online textbook which is great for visual learners. Um, I've included a link in the description if you want to give MRCP updates um, a go, uh, join through the link and you will get 40% off. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. Um, this is only my personal experience and what I found uh, worked for me that I'm sharing with you. Um, number three. Um, how was my studying schedule? 100 questions a day. 
whatever happens, try and reach that goal. This means missing out on some outings and nights out over the weekends, but um, prepare well for a few months and get it out of the way. Um, I did Past Medicine's question bank twice. The first time I went through it, um, I was aiming for 100 questions a day, um, and I did this by specialty all the while I was using Past Medicine's online textbook and MRCP Update's online textbook um, to study. Um, I find it essential to read the topics, especially the ones you know you need some revising on. And the online textbooks are quite concise and only include high yield information, so it will not be like studying a textbook for medical school. It took me two months uh, to go through the question bank once by specialty um, and read the online textbook uh, once with it. Um, this meant doing questions whatever chance I got throughout the day um, and setting aside two to three hours a day to study. The next month I went through the question bank again, this time not by specialty and random. I can't stress how important this is because the exam questions are randomly allocated and not knowing which system or topic the question belongs to is an added difficulty and you don't want to experience it first time on the exam. So the second time you go through the bank, randomly allocate the questions. I aimed for 200 questions on round two and managed to get through the bank for the second time in a month. Um, the last one to two weeks is all about doing past papers. I would recommend past tests and MRCP update past papers. Um, I personally went through um, around 15 past papers. Uh, make sure you also do the official mock exam on the MRCP website. Now, number four, keep your chin up. By the time you will take this exam, you've gotten into medical school, you have passed medical school, You've started working as a doctor. You have crazy working hours with 12-hour shifts and night shifts where you are probably work to the limits of your physical and mental capacity. On top of that, you're expected to study for and pass membership exams in your own time. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's okay. You're not alone. I personally sometimes felt like the people around us don't understand, but I get it. You work eight hours or 12 hours, get home, study another two to three hours, go to bed and only to do the same all over again tomorrow. Keep your chin up, brave through it for a few months, and you will achieve this milestone like all the others you have before. Do remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. You can find on the screen two videos where I explain two common MRCP topics and include MRCP style questions in the end. Um, I'm also planning to do a few videos where we'd answer MRCP questions together to stress the importance of having the right thought process while answering questions. But that's the topic for another video. If you had any questions, please leave a comment down below or message me on X. Um, I would be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.